Hello friends, hearty welcome to you. We are going through coordinate geometry straight lines and we have an interesting problem to solve. We have been given the midpoints of the sides of a triangle. We have to find out the equations of the sides and also we have to find out the vertices of the triangle or angular points of the triangle. So we have been given DEF. We have to find the equations of A, B, B, C and C, A. And also we have to find out what are the what are the coordinates of A, B and C. Now before starting, let's see, we can do this problem in more than one approach. But right now we are discussing about slope. So we will see how we can leverage slope to find out the equations of the sides of the triangle. For that, we know that if, if the sides of a two sides of a triangle are joined at midpoints then the line segment formed is parallel to the third side if i repeat if you join the midpoints of two sides of a triangle then the line segment in this let us say a b a c are two sides the midpoints are e and f you join them e f is parallel to b c that we know similarly if you join similarly if you join a b and b c midpoints that is e and d then line segment formed is parallel to the third side so what we know from this let's just put them we know that a b is parallel to d f we also know BC is parallel to EF and we also know CA is parallel to DE. We know AB is parallel to DF. We know BC is parallel to EF. Similarly, we know AC is parallel to DE. How we know that? We know because you can see that actually the theorem says that if you join midpoints of two sides of a triangle it's parallel to the third side which we can prove also using congruency and similarity okay right now using this now if i know two line segments are parallel i know that slope is equal so if i am able to get the slope of df it's nothing but I got the slope of AB. So, I got the slope of AB and I also know the point because midpoint lies on that line segment. So, it's easy now. We know slope, we know point. So, we can use point slope form which says y minus y1 is equal to m into x minus x1. So, our step 1 will be our step 1 will be to find out the slopes of the line segments joining the midpoints that is DE, EF and DF. So let's go ahead and do that. I will write down M of slope of DE, slope of EF, slope of FD. First we will go to DE. What is the formula we will be using? M equal to y minus y1 by y, y2 minus y1 by x2 minus x1 or nothing but delta y by delta x. So DE, DE if I take I will have, I can, I can start from anywhere either I can start from D or I can start from E doesn't make any difference. So 6 minus 4 I will write down. 6 minus 4, 6 minus 4 divided by 5 minus 3. That's equal to 2 by 2 equal to 1. So, the slope of DE is equal to 1. So, which means that slope of CA is also 1. MCA is equal to 1. So we got slope of C A now, that's nothing but equal to 1. Similarly, we can find out slope of E F. 
slope of EF is nothing but 8 minus 4 divided by 6 minus 3 that's equal to 4 by 3. So if you know slope of EF, slope of BC which is parallel to EF is also 4 by 3. So slope equal to 4 by 3. The next one slope of FD or DF 8 minus 6 by 6 minus 5 that's equal to 2 by 1 that's equal to 2. So if slope of DF is 2 automatically slope of AB is equal to 2. So we know slope we know point we know slope of AB we also know a point on AB that is nothing but the midpoint of AB. Similarly for BC we know slope we know midpoint D. For similarly for AC we know slope we know midpoint F. So let's go ahead and find the equations of the lines. So equation of AB next equation of BC equation of CA for equation of AB AB is parallel to DF so slope equal to M of AB is equal to 2 similarly for BC BC is parallel to EF so the slope is M of BC is equal to 4 by 3 and also CA is parallel to E D D E and D E slope is 1. So M of C A is equal to 1. And what is the point we have for A B? For A B the point is E that is nothing but 3 comma 4. For B C the point is 5 comma 6. For C A the point is 6 comma 8. Now we know the slope, we know the point, now it is very easy to form the equation. So how the equation looks like? Let's do that. y minus 4, y minus y1 equal to m into x minus x1. That's nothing but y minus 4 equal to 2x minus 6 or 2x minus y minus 2 equal to 0. Similarly here y minus 6 equal to 4 by 3 into x minus 5. That is nothing but equal to if you multiply with 3 throughout 3y minus 18 equal to 4x minus 20 or 4x minus 3y minus 2 is equal to 0. The next equation of CA is nothing but y minus 8 equal to 1 into x minus 6 or x minus y minus minus 6 plus 8 so it will become x minus y plus 2 equal to 0 y minus 8 equal to x minus 6 x minus y plus 2 equal to 0. So these are the equations of A, B, B, C, C, A. So we know the equations of A, B, B, C, C, A. Now if you solve A, B and B, C you will get coordinates of B. If you solve B, C and C, A you will get coordinates of C. If you solve A, B and C, A you will get coordinates of A. You can try it out since you know the equations you know how to do linear equations in two variables. You can solve them by substitution or elimination and you can find out the e coordinates of A comma B comma C. If you want to cross check the coordinates will be this. B will be 2 comma 2, C will be 8 comma 10 and A will be 4 comma 6. Just check it out. Once you got the equation once you got the equations, now you solve them algebraically, you can see that the coordinates of A, B, C are 4, 6, 2, 2, 8, 10. Check it out and let me know if you are not getting them. 
okay so in the next session we will do another interesting example let me summarize this we have been given the midpoints we have to find out the vertices or we have to find out the equation of the sides which will give us the vertices to find out the equation of the sides we know that if if two sides of a triangle are joined at midpoints that means a line seg segment which joins the midpoints of two sides of a triangle is parallel to the third side so we know those three slopes automatically we know the slopes of the sides of the triangle and we also have a point for each side that is nothing but its midpoint so we know the slope we know the point you can apply point slope formula and you can get their equations easily once you get the equations you can solve them algebraically and you can get the coordinates of the vertices so see you in the next session we will solve one more interesting example related to straight lines thanks for visiting bye for now